Every day. All the time. Hey, welcome yeah. everybody to a special night of Grand Perilous Gaming, where we're doing some team building with some Mutineer Zero and some very special people that you never see on the channel, but work behind the scenes on Grim Perilous. Never. Oh, sh the BFF <laughs> just showed up, Adam. Just in time for us to go live. <laughs> I I'm... Mike the boss boss lord. <laughs> hey, uh, I'll fix that. Um, I know, I know. Hello, Charles, how's it going? We all know you're the boss. It's okay. Um, so why don't we do introductions while I fix this because we had a little floible before we went live so i'll fix this so why don't we do introductions i got ken is set up correctly to my left so ken why don't you go ahead and introduce yourself who you are what you do at gmp and then we'll move it to the next person that's all we're gonna uh do. okay uh my name is ken and i do like layout stuff and smart once in a while um just a lot of like layout art stuff Move on. <laughs> Layout art He's stuff. He's awesome. Ken does yeah, some fantastic. I'm the I'm the Don't other guy. It's De it's Diane and then it's me. I'm the other I'm the other guy. Well, those cards that Daniel is tweeting about, yes, those tarot cards, that was your art on there, and a lot of the uh, art that yes. we've been using for the channel has come from you. So, if folks like what they're seeing. That is all Ken. All Ken. Cool. Ken, uh, who else is correct? Adam, you go. I'm just watching. I'm looking at the overlay as I'm fixing it. Who's correct? Hi, my name is Boss the Mike Michler. Oh, wait. No, Whoops. no, you're, um, you're fixed. I am Adam Rose. I'm the uh, rules developer for uh, Hander RPG and Mangouch. Um, you'll see me on Discord a lot. Is that, are, are we losing you or are you just done? We lost him. We lost Adam. He's going to mess up Hazelly again. Just Adam, Adam, he's just, to he's just, just totally he's frozen. Fixed. He's like, yeah. <laughs> 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 All right. Yep. Well, we uh, know it's just him because me and Jen are on the same internet. Yeah, you guys are like at the same place. Yeah. yeah. And Adam's dropping. So it's just him. Yep. I blame Gremlins. Uh, they they won't let me have one of the uh, um, Ethernet cables. I got to stay on wireless. Oh, those! <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, Ethernet. it's truly the apocalypse, right? <laughs> um, let's go. Let's wrap up the left hand side. Jen, we're gonna hop back to you. Jen, who are you? What do you do? I'm Jen, and I did some editing for Grandma Perilous Studios for Zvite Hunter Man Gucci. And uh, <laughs> yeah, I'm a play tester. We've been doing Radiator sessions so that's me that's jen let's hop on over to mike the boss hi i am mike the boss bossler i am lead play tester i think i got that right yeah, uh, sure. i also do a lot of the mechanic mondays for the patreon um and just play testing and stuff like that he's gonna he, he's the one who tries to break swyander and he's gonna try and break i do your zero for us I gave Chuck his awesome build that he uses in our radiator group. Oh, did you? It's a very good effect. There you go, Chuck. You should you should toss Mike some bits right now. No pressure. <laughs> uh, and last but not least, Jeremy. Hi, I'm a professional nerd. I also do some playtesting. I compete with Mike for being the best min-maxer. Yeah. Um, yeah. So and I'm a good to... person, I swear. Are you going to do the same thing here? You're going to try and break the game, break the system? No, really. No, I've actually picked like the most ridiculous thing I could find. <laughs> oh, I don't even know. I don't know what you took. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I do. What am I talking I want to be good you at cleaning things. Yeah, yeah. It's the apocalypse and I'm going to clean stuff. He's our cleaner. He, that's right. Yeah. All right. So I don't know. I'm, I'm always here. What? I don't need to introduce myself. So we are here to play some Mutant Year Zero. We're going to start a ongoing game we're gonna we're gonna meet once a month but this month you guys are gonna get a double dose of us we're gonna do character creation this week and then two weeks from now we are going to do our first session so tonight we're going to build characters and we're going to use a plethora of books here and options because we're going to use a little bit of everything well except for humans because nobody wants to play human right that's, a, that's an inside joke for um but uh, we've got mutants, we've got robots, and we've got animal people that are going to be making up our group. So we're going to use three of the four books that are available for options. Hey, Jeff, thanks. Thank you for uh, dropping in. Always appreciate it. Yeah, make bits rain like uh, my lords do. 
That's right. Make a bit of Chuck. You're not right, here. Lord, I'm, call, I'm calling you out, Chuck. You're not here. Um, <laughs> yeah, Daniel is right behind Jeremy right now. Nobody plays humans. Uh, or wants to play humans. But, uh, so we've got three mutants, from what I believe. There we go. Chuck's here. Thank you for the penny, Chuck. Always appreciate it. The <laughs> hey, penny. BFF. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Uh, we have three mutants, a robot, and a beast person, animal person. I don't know what we want to call them. I don't want to discriminate. Beast but person. A beast person. There we go. <laughs> what we're going to do today is we're going to create our characters, and then we're also going to create uh, the location and the build of our arc. An arc is your base. This is what you lean on to survive meet near zero. Now, with each of the books, there are different things in uh, the Animal One Gene Lab alpha i think it's called there's dens with the robots i don't remember what they're called but because majority of our group is mutants we're gonna you guys our robot and our animal person our beast person is gonna figure out why you're in the zone living with the mutants i'm gonna leave that up to you to design and come up with your character and we're gonna use the arc as the basis for our base uh, basis for our base um because there's more of them than you yeah and it's easier for me <laughs> to do that will it be an ace base uh, that's ASF you. Bases. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> the puns have started. <laughs> what do you mean? I was just, you know, just calling know pandemonium. Have, I, I was wanting to know if we'd have Ace of Base. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is that an 80s group? No. No. Very no. 90s. <laughs> With all the love in my heart, I hate you, Adam. <laughs> <laughs> I hate you lovingly. <laughs> how bizarre, how bizarre. That's an yeah. 80s group, right? No. Yes, very no. 80s. Yeah. Oh. No. <laughs> um, here we Why? go. Why? So, <laughs> who needs a walkthrough of Roll20? Do you guys know where to find your character sheets? The the, nope. the stream can't see this. This is all just us. This is this is intimate in Roll20 right now. Uh, so, in the Never top right-hand corner, there's like a speech bubble on your screen. I believe there's something that looks like a newspaper or a character sheet uh, mm -hmm. icon. And then there's like a cog. So, you want that, that second option, the one that looks like a newspaper or a character sheet. Underneath that, once you click on it, there will be a character sheet with each of your names on it. Your real-world names. Not your in-game names, because I don't know what those are yet. Meow. <laughs> Meow. <laughs> <laughs> and we are gonna start there so if everybody can get their character sheet open for me and then i'm gonna have the task of going through character creation for three different books but that's okay they're very similar um i'm gonna start with our mutant friends okay because there's three <laughs> of you i'll get you the three of you set and going on your way and i'm gonna move to the next two so character creation someone's vacuuming or making margaritas <laughs> Uh, it's his motorcycle it is his motorcycle <laughs> character creation um is the same across the board there's just some variations part way through when it comes to your powers and abilities and mutations and such so everybody has the same four attributes that might be named something else uh depending on what book you're using but they're essentially the same at the end of the day so depending on what you're playing if you notice on the top of the character sheet it says character type Mutant, animal, robot, human. You can click the button for whatever you're playing, and it should change your character sheet to reflect the stats or the different names on the stats. I'm clicking on Adam's. Oh. Sorry, Adam. If you're like, why does my sheet keep moving? Uh, it'll change it over. So, like, Jeremy, you're playing a robot. You'll see servos and things like that mm -hmm. instead of willpower yeah. and such. So you'll want to click that. Jen, you'll want to click animal for yours, and everybody else is just going to stay at the good old mutant. From there... But we are going to do our attributes. So, attributes. Mutants, you have 14 points to spend on your four attributes at character creation. So, you can't have less than two or greater than four in any of your starting attributes except for your key attribute, which is identified on your class. So, I believe... Everybody has chosen a class that they want to play already, correct? Yes. So, like, can you're a stalker. Yours is agility, so you could have a five in agility to start. Um, Mike is a boss, just like in real life. He's going to play a boss in the game. Your Amazing. wits. You can start with a, a wits of five if you want. And, Adam, you're playing a gearhead? Yep. A gearhead is... Wits. Wits. So you can have a five in your wits. So the three of you... Go ahead, get started, and start distributing your 
14 points across your attributes. And I'm going to jump over to the other two and get them started on theirs. My robot, Jeremy. Got a yes. head, a torso, and an undercarriage. A torso and an undercarriage, yes. So your attributes can go from one to six, where theirs was two to four. You can start one to six. So this is where this is where robots are a little different. You can start stronger, but you also can be a little weaker in things. Um, See, I guess that pretty much. Fits. Yeah, and you have chassis parts. Yeah, so like depending upon what sort of like when you pick it, different ones might give you modules or kind of like their special abilities or right. whatever. So yeah, you kind of have to choose between some have better stats, but they might not give you the ability to have a special ability. Right, right, right. Or so you might trade off lesser stats for being able to do more cool stuff. Or armor or things like that. Exactly. So you have yeah. to choose a head, a torso, and an undercarriage, like you said. Uh, so that'll get you set up with your stats. And last but not least, our beast person, Jen. You have... Bear with me. I have to open the PDF for you because I'm still waiting on my physical copy of this book. Oh, of Gen Lab Alpha? Yeah. It's a great book. The last Kickstarter, for whatever reason, they didn't ship it with everything else. And people are, the backers are still waiting for it. I've, I've received Elysium. I've received Megaton. I received my base book, but I did not get Gene Lab. It's in, I don't know where it is. It's not in the mail. Because, yeah. It's in, in space. Yeah, it's somewhere. That's for sure. Um, Jen, Jen, Jen. Jen. You're a cat person, right? Mm hmm. Right, right, right. So that determines your powers. Where, why is this not laid out the same way? And why was I not prepared for you? So you get to choose age, actually, whereas the others don't. And this is something, oh, as I hit my mic thing, this is something that was in Forbidden Lands that I really liked. You actually get to choose how mature or old your character is. And based off that, you get more points at character creation or less points. But if you get take less points, you get more skills to show your age and how you oh. pick things up along the way. So you can choose to be a youngster and have 15 points to distribute across your attributes. A, you can be mature, an adult, and have 14. Or you can be an elder with 13. And your range is 2 to 4. And you can also put 5 in your key attribute. So what was the youngster again? Youngster is 15 points. 15. Mature is 14. And elder is 13. So this just means when you go to your skills, if the older you are, the more skills you're going to get at character creation. The younger you are, the less skills you're going to receive. Because you just haven't been out in the world. You haven't experienced it. I'd like to see an updated version of Mutant Year Zero with this in as well, because I think it is a neat concept. Uh, maybe it's because uh, mutants don't have kids or nothing they're all the same age yeah aren't we all supposed to be young when we start or part of like the the arc yeah yeah and you're gonna slowly die you're gonna slowly succumb to your mutations yes yeah, it's inevitable cool. <laughs> which i think is That's damn cool which is damn cool um i love that aspect of it seems um, kind of grim and perilous <laughs> um so any questions for anybody on your attributes? No. Cool, cool. All right. So, am I supposed to have roll twenty open or something? Yes, please. Do you need the link for it? Yes, please. Okay. I'll just jump out and I'll put it in the Discord for you. That was a good question. Thank you. It's a valid question. Oh, roll 20 is taking forever to close on me. I can't send you a link within game. I have to jump out, get the link, and go back in. Uh, okay, it's in the Mutineer Zero room now, Mike. Awesome. Hey, who do we have in chat? Who's in chat there? Throw anything out while we're doing this. If you're here, you're watching us. If you're not a usual or a regular viewer, say hi. Say hi to me and everybody else. 
Or if you're say, a fan of any say of these hello people. to me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> say, say hi to these people if you're fans of what they do at GNP. Chuck's in the chat. Well, of course you are. Your BFF's live on camera. <laughs> of course you'd be here. Me, you don't show up for my streams, Chuck. I thought we were friends, but Adam's here. You're 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 waiting early. And you're throwing those pennies around. Earning them brownie points. All right. True story, it is true. <laughs> um Okay, so I'm gonna jump back to my mutants. Are you all good on your attributes? Yes, I am. I I am. The equal was it fourteen again? It is fourteen. And the Done. Scale is 1 to 5. No. Yes, 1 to 5. That is not good. I think you have to have a 2 one, to one 4. To two. 2 to 4, and you can have a 5 in your key attribute. We'll, we'll get this yet. I'm used to Forbidden Lands where it's like one book for everybody, and most of my guys just do the random character generator. So it's like, hey, roll dice like 5 times and you've got a character. Which is also fantastic to have uh, for this rule set down the road. Uh, Definitely. so, uh, it's, it's so quick. Do you, have you played Forbidden Lands? Do you have it? No, I almost got the box set, but then I just, it's one of those games where it's just another RPG, so I, I haven't bought it yet. Do it. They're Kickstarter, hey, when, hey, Adam, when is that Kickstarter launching? Weren't we going to talk about this? Uh, it might have launched. If it, I think it did. There's a Kickstarter for the first expansion oh, for, for the new, Lands. yeah, the new supplement, the, the ice one, or the snow one. Which is going to add, like, another full-size map to the north of the existing one. I have it hanging on my wall here. I'd show you guys if I didn't have it on my wall. Um, nice. It's it's a massive map. So they're going to add a whole other map the same size to the north. I can't wait. I cannot wait for that. Wouldn't it be crazy in, like, ten years if they kept doing that so there's, like, a massive they're, super map? They're going to, though. So I, I That's awesome. Yeah. did an interview with Thomas or Tomas. I can't remember how to say it correct, correctly. Um earlier in the year and he said after that is to the west or i'm sorry the east which is an ocean and they're going to do each quadrant they're going each side like all four sides that's that's amazing that's a really that's good idea such a good idea okay so we'll move on to skills then for everybody so my mutants you have skills they range from zero to five um you have i think, I think it's like zero to th Two, isn't it? Or zero to three? Uh, I mean, well, it was three, it's zero to five, like five. At, at the highest. But a character yeah, creation, yeah. you get ten points, and the maximum starting level you can have in any skill is three. So you have ten points to distribute amongst amongst your skills. The highest you can go in any one skill is three at character creation. My robot, where are we at with you? I, I've got my skills. I got my attributes. Oh man! Got it. Got your skills. I'm, I'm going to be a little bit lower in stats than the other guys, but I'm going to have lots of cool stuff. Here. That's okay. I'm fine with that. You've done your secondary functions. You've done. Are you on your modules? Yeah, I'm working on modules now. I've got waste recycler for my secondary function. Basically, I can turn trash and biological waste and whatnot into energy. Oh, cool. I'm a cleaner bot slash recycler robot. I kind of picture myself like this giant bulky thing with like pastel blue, like Parks and Rec style <laughs> design on them. So you're you're and E. Yeah. Yes. Um, Jen, what age is your beast person? Adult. Adult. So you get ten points to distribute amongst your skills. And you can't have any skill higher than three, just like mutants. Okay. Now, my mutants, your next step is talents. Have you guys gotten to talents at this point? Some of you are probably ahead of the others. I got five more points to spend. In your skills? Okay. I just want to say, for my beast people and my mutants, there are new talents in Gene... Lab Alpha that you guys have access to at character creation and as the game goes on what? and vice versa for our beast people you can take the general talents out of the mutant year zero book so you're not limited to just what's in that base book for my mutants and my beast people you guys get wait to... so can I take instead of taking like if I have rot finder for the uh, the stalker can I take just one of the general ones instead you sure can from gene lab uh, Alpha. yeah damn. you can <laughs> uh oh now he's got to go back and redo his character. Yeah, I got to look around. And for my beast people, you can actually start with one 
beast power and a mutation. So in the book, they say like, hey, there are like outcasts or like tainted beast people. And those are ones who are born with mutations. And those ones are usually cast out in the world. So if you want to, you can have a beast power and a mutation at character creation and roll on that table. You don't have to, but it is an option for you to keep in mind. Okay, so after uh, uh, skills, we move on to talent. Talents, yes. So talents, you can pick one talent when creating your character, but your choices are limited. So it's going to be one of the the three that is tied to your your role that you chose. What uh, what kind of gearhead are you making? I wanted to ask you that earlier. Um, I think it's the one that is good at crafting rather than fixing our cars. Okay, that's going to be very handy. Um, <laughs> that is a good choice. Yeah, I can't remember the name of that talent. I already know what Mike's doing. Mike's doing command, and he's gonna make he's gonna have like a whole gang that I'm gonna have to keep track of. And <laughs> yeah, the job, the I'm job maxing out that command basically as fast as possible, so I have the maximum amount of like you know cronies around yeah, with me. Th thanks so for that, Mike. Fantastic. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, I'll keep in. I'll keep. I got, I got them all. All got, right, all right. Because if it's a lot of upkeep for me, I, I've, I've said up to Mike that I'm just going to kill them. If it's if it means upkeep for me, your NPCs but they have are dying. Stories and everything. <laughs> hey, they're just sure they do. We've they... got Marlon Rando, Rando Calrissian. <laughs> they are Marlon Rando the second. <laughs> Tripod. Rando Althor. Yeah, there, there's a guy named Tripod. Uh... <laughs> That's all I remember is Tripod. Um, Jen, where are we at with you? Where did you do your skills? Yes. Okay, so you are moving on to talents now. So, you also learn talents, describe, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, so you can know, you can take talents from the base book if you want, like I was mentioning. And you can also take mutations. But you get to choose one talent during character creation tied to your role that you've selected. You, so you selected a... What role did you take? I didn't ask you that. Because you have, like, <laughs> healer and... What is it for the beast people? Healer, hunter, warrior, scavenger. What did you end up taking? I think it was hunter. Seer. Hunter? Okay. I think it was hunter. So you can choose one of those hunter talents. Bower, skinner, and or trapper. For yours. Furious typing. Yep, sorry. <laughs> it's okay. And then when you're done that, Jen, you get to choose two animal powers. Or like I said, you can do one animal power and one mutation. It's up to you. Uh, you get to choose off a list, whereas my mutants, we get to randomly roll, which is the fun part. Uh, that's to fun. See, see what you end up with. My robot, you don't have to randomly roll. You select everything, don't you? I you, do. I've got built. two of my modules picked out. My third one I'm having a hard time with. Okay. Uh, and I'll potentially put it to you to because one of them looks awesome, but I'm not sure if you want a robot with a grenade launcher. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I love see. the idea of just like recycling all this stuff and then turning like all the recycled bits into like junk bombs that get shot out. That's so, amazing. I Hey, I don't mind. If you want it, just remember... <laughs> I have killed more players in Forbidden Lands than any other game. So you're rolling D6s and you're getting ones. I don't mind hurting you with a grenade launcher when things go wrong. That's okay. All right. Or your live, or your friends. Live by the grenade, die by the grenade. Yeah. Well, so my my two other things, I've got medical unit so I can heal people. I'm going to take all that disgusting recycled stuff that I've gathered together. Yeah. Make this weird paste and I'm going to just Spirit. ooze it into your wounds. Yeah. <laughs> it's going to be the most disgusting healing ever. <laughs> And I can repair myself. And then I was like, what else should I do? I've got two different healing abilities. Let's just flip it. If you want, yeah. If, if that's one of your options, take it. I don't know. There's nothing barred at character creation. I'm, I'm torn between that or having extra arms, being this big robot with like four arms. That's kind of cool too. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Yeah. It's really hard to choose. I feel like having four arms would be more useful on a day-to-day -day basis groceries yeah <laughs> and he is a cleaner you know that just means you can clean that much more efficiently 
It is true. All right. But I just think I think a disgusting junk bomb is too fun to pass up. Disgusting junk bomb. So, my mutants. Let's start rolling for your mutant powers. We're gonna roll a d sixty six, yes. which is programmed on the character sheet, if I remember correctly. Uh, let me open up a character sheet and take a peek here. I'll just be because it's weird because it's like eleven to sixty six. You can't just roll like like slash r d sixty six. You'd have to roll two d sixes. So. Where is the button for that on here? There's there's a D66 next to uh, conditions. Oh, Thank yeah. You. There you go. There's a big button there. Thank you. So This guy's classy. My mutants, you get to start with one free mutation. You can start with a second mutation, but you have to reduce one of your starting attributes by one point to signify the that, that loss of your humanity uh, and moving that much further to giving in to your mutations. So it's up to you. Who wants to go first? And are we going to do one or two mutations for you? I'll go. All right, yeah. Adam. One or two mutations? One. Oh, oh. Playing it safe. Yeah. All right. Roll me your D66. I think I'm probably just going to get him a lot during gameplay anyway. So Yeah, it's, um, it's going to happen. It's inevitable. Where do I, where do I find this? In so the, on your character uh, sheet, on the left-hand side, you got attributes. Right below that is conditions. And to the right-hand side of conditions, there's a 66. And a, and a ah, okay. Looks like 62. I need to drop into the character sheet to see what condition my condition is in. Oh, look at this. You guys both rolled high. So both of you guys got re-roll. 60, 52 to 66 is re-roll. So uh, re-roll both of you. <laughs> All right, Adam, 32. You have First. Mind Terror. Oh, sick. And, oh, Mike, you're a tracker? Are you uh, taking yeah. one or two, Mike? I'll take two. Yes, thank you. <laughs> yeah. So, just for everybody here on the stream, uh, let's look up Mind Terror and Trapper. Ken, you can go ahead and roll as well. And bam. Are you doing one or two, Ken? I'm gonna take him one. Oh, you guys, you're a human magnet. Uh, so, damn it, <laughs> mind terror. Your brain has the ability to affect the minds of others and create vivid hallucinations at up to near range. You can torment your victim with visions that inflict confusion or doubt. Your choice, hmm. uh, equal to the number of mutant points spent. You can also confuse others to make them miss their next action. Only works on humanoids. And you can create an illusion so grand the victim will believe it to be real. And that costs more points. <laughs> that is damn cool. Mike, uh, what was yours? Tracker. Tracker. Your sense of smell is extremely well developed. You can follow the trail of a person or monster, like a bloodhound. You can sense an enemy sneaking up on you. Uh, smell grub out in the zone. Oh, that's going to be really handy. Nice. Because food is huge in this. And hard to come by, and that's essentially what's going to heal you. And Ken, you rolled 22, which is the human magnet. I was mad at first, but now I'm really into it. I'm really Yeah, aren't right you now. like Magneto? Yeah, basically I'm Magneto, which is fucking awesome. Right? What? You can generate a strong magnetic field yeah. at will. Push away or attract metal objects within short range, weighing no more than yourself. Yes. Throw metal objects at a target up to short range. The damage is equal to the number of mutant points you spend and shield yourself against bullets and other metal weapons what oh my god you are magneto of the wasteland yeah, wow. very, very excited about this <laughs> that's so cool i was jeff mad said, but then i was awesome. happy jeff yeah. says go big he's telling the two of you to go for another mutant power and no way and lose one more attribute point i'm good oh you lose an attribute point every time you do that yeah okay. so you have to lower one of your attributes oh you, then i'm sticking choice. with one Oh, Mike. A wuss, too. Sorry. Mike, uh, come on. It's worth it being able to do cool things. Come on. We got Magneto over here. You could be Magneto. <laughs> it's it's true. You could get a much cooler mutation. It's a game of mutations. All right. I thought for sure you guys would all take two. I would. But nope. <laughs> I've got I got I know from uh, the way my That's luck goes with dice that uh, I'm definitely going to be uh, rolling lots of ones. See, I'm the opposite, man. I picked gear. Like, I picked chassis parts that gave me lower <laughs> stats but let me have three special abilities. Because yeah, I a, gr a grenade abilities. launcher. Dude, I can heal myself. I can heal you. And I can blow things up. And apparently the grenade launcher can also drop a smoke bomb. You're going to be everybody's best friend. That's true. Hey, MC. I'm here to help. 
MC is saying, I heard this game is cool. Can anyone confirm or deny? Has anybody here played it? Have you played it, Ken? Uh, I have played a few sessions of it. It's fucking awesome. It's a great game. There you um, go. It, it's, it's actually a lot like, um, it's sort of like, uh, it's similar to the D6 system, like the Western Games one. Um, mm. Or Mini 6, if you ever played Mini 6. It's, it's, it's pretty similar. Yeah. MC, if, uh, I recognize the name. If you've caught any of our Forbidden Lands games, also it's the same system. I think Forbidden Lands, I'd say, is just a little bit more streamlined. It's their latest game that they put out, but it uses the exact same system. And I can confirm that it's kick-ass. I love, love, love this system, and I love that game. Okay, uh, let me jump back to my beast person. Where are we at with our with our feline? Uh, <laughs> so I'm a Skinner. <laughs> You're I don't really know what else I need to pick. Uh, I'm going to pick uh, animal power. Yes. So fast reflexes, hunting instincts. <laughs> Climber, silent, fleet-footed, nocturnal, predator, or tail are your options. Oh, you have a lot of options. Yeah. And I can pick two? Mm, you can pick one, I believe. And, and then Let's one see. mutation? No. You could take a mutation in place of an animal Whoa. power. Are you a cat? Are you a cat? Yeah. She is, yes. Yeah, like a fire, a fire-breathing cat? That's amazing. <laughs> You're, yeah, Mr. Like Mistoffelees. Yeah. It's just going to be a whole bunch of Cats references, the musical, the whole time we play. R Rumple teaser? No, it's Rum Tum Tugger. Oh, yeah. <laughs> if I had a cat person, his name would be Rum Tum Tugger. <laughs> <laughs> uh, is anybody running Zweihander at RPG at Smorgasbord tomorrow? I haven't decided whether I go or not, as is asking MC. I don't know. Oh, Daniel says oh, we yeah. are indeed. Daniel, Daniel's in the chat. Yep, he's on it. We'll be there. Um, I'm, I'm supposed to be there. Um, however, with the way things have gone with work, um, I might not. Ninety percent sure I'm supposed to be there. Well, fifty percent either. <laughs> um, Jen, I'm sorry. You get two. I lied. You get two animal yes! powers. Um, no, and you, no. so you can choose one animal power, and you could, or you could choose one. Mutation, if you want. Um, you don't lose any attributes. Um, you just get two. You get two powers right off the bat. So we had that list there for you. You also get your starting rank or hierarchy. We're gonna. You can do it, but it's not gonna be important because you're not part of a den. I don't know what you are. You're an exile or. A, explorer or whatever whatever you decide you tell me and we'll work it into your character mm -mm -mm. it's up to your imagination right exactly welcome to role-playing jen yeah where your imagination <laughs> is the limit do i need to do that d66 uh, thing no you just get to choose you get to choose for that list that i read out awesome that very sweet yeah yeah Fast reflexes, hunting instincts, climber, silent, fleet-footed, nocturnal, predator, or tail. You gotta take a tail if you're a cat. <laughs> Wouldn't that be like a like a like a like Marsupilami tail. tail though? Wouldn't it be like a this thing, not just like a wavy tail, but like a grabby tail? Yeah, a grabby tail. Marsupilami. You Is that what it's called? Is that the official term? No. Oh, <laughs> I, I know what you're talking. It's like it's like a he's like a yeah he's yeah. like a cartoon. He's like spotted yeah. like a like a yeah. leopard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll just hang upside down for no reason. That's, yeah, that's an early '90s reference the, right the there. The ultimate predator, Marsupilami. That did not last long. That show. I mean, I'm still mentioning it. <laughs> Good God, that's a lot of armor. All right, so uh, how's my robot going? Let's jump over to Jeremy. I, I I think I love this because I realize my stats aren't the best, but I have 10 points of armor. Whoa. Wow. That's ridiculous. So that's good for a healer. <laughs> that's yeah. Really Basically, healer. I'm not I'm not going to do much hurting. Like, I guess I'm strong enough. I could maybe squish something. Who all plans to be big, hurdy people? Because I was not Nobody. being a big, hurdy person. Actually, no, that's not true. I have five servos, so that's the equivalent of like five... Strike wrong muscle. Yeah. So yeah, basically I'm a big however, uh my processing power, my ability to notice things, pretty bad. You're, you're, the a, mouse. Was, you're a dummy. I got yeah. five wit, 
<laughs> I'm like as for, and like I looked at the ranking for like the way the robots do hierarchy. I'm at the very bottom. They're like oh, I'm. That's, that's I'm just the big dumb yeah. cleaner bot that gets sent out. <laughs> You're like oh, a, a Lenny. Yeah. Yeah. So that's it when it comes to skills, talents, mutations, attributes for character creation. Now we have to get into a little bit of the the story building stuff, the stuff you're going to give me that I can pull on. We need yes. to determine our relationships to one another. Um, it recommends that you write one sentence um, defining or des describing your, your, your relationship to the other PCs. Uh, and you have to select one buddy in the group. Everybody has to select someone who is their buddy how, and how you're tied together. Why are you buddies? Hmm. The mechanic is my darling boy. What if I don't get a buddy because there's five of us? You are a filthy flea bag. You shed everywhere and I hate you. Well, maybe maybe two of you hate me. You are, however, others. useful. And my darling boy says I cannot kill you. My darling boy. My darling Who's your darling boy? <laughs> Makes me uncomfortable. The, me the mechanic. Oh, I thought it was going to be the boss. I thought you were going to the head. boss. Oh, come on. He's got his own robot, huh? Eh? Yeah, come on. <laughs> I got a robot. You are my little rascal. <laughs> You're my spanky. Hey, yeah, spanky. I intend to try and think of some sort of silly nickname for everybody. So we've got a little, little rascal. We've got a flea bag. My darling boy. Aww. It's a little rascal. <laughs> I'm you have, you have free to change, man. You have to change it up to spanky if he's your little rascal. Oh. Or, or Darla. <laughs> Let's see, what would I call somebody who could do magnetism and I'm a robot? You think we'd be attracted to each other? Oh, yeah, <laughs> zing. Maybe. Uh, I see what you did there. Just call you handsome, like Marvin. <laughs> um, Hello, handsome. I'd probably actually, you'd probably think I was uncomfortable. Like, yeah, because I'm always like making you come towards me. Yeah, yeah. it's awkward. So, we're pushing you away. I'll call you skeevy. <laughs> skeevy, <laughs> I am a stalker. Finally, oh, our, nice. there's two, there's the two more things stalker. you need to think about. You need to come up with relationships to two NPCs within the arc. And it mm. could be good, bad. You could hate them. You could love them. They could be your kid brother or sister. They could be your parent. They could be a rival boss who you flip and hate within the arc and you want to take them down. Mm. It doesn't matter. You choose two NPCs and you define your relationship to them. It can be someone in the wasteland as well. It doesn't necessarily need to be the Ark. We could we could say that because some of you guys aren't from the Ark. Um, but nah. stuff again, I can pull on and we can we can inject into our games. And then I finally need your big dream. What is it that your character wants? What is their dream in life? What is that ultimate thing that they want to obtain or place they want to go? Whatever that looks like, you need to determine that as well. Uh, your dreams and relationships will change over time as we play as well. So you won't be stuck into these uh, at character creation. They will they will change. So we need relationship to NPCs. We need a buddy. Relationship to PCs. And your big dream. And this is all gravy for me. Ha ha ha. Have you have you created any like established characters yet, or are you just gonna work from what we make? I'm like, gonna do both. You need? So oh, I want to okay. see what you guys come up with tonight because we get to generate some bosses within the arc tonight <laughs> when we move to arc creation after this. And sure. I'm also going to take. What, what, what? Oh yeah, Fawn! Thank you so much. And I just realized that my overlay is covered up by the Grim Palace logo. Thank you so much, Fawn. Fawn is always here for our streams, or for the most part. So thank you so much for dropping in. And yeah, for, thanks, Fawn. And for thanks, the cheer. Fawn. Always appreciated. Fawn was the um, number one person pushing oh, me to get a calendar. I, the calendar's up, Fawn. How do you like it? It's now out there, the schedule. You can, you'll can you never miss a show. Um, yes, so I'm going to do a combination. I want to take the NPCs you guys create, and I want to create some as well. Um, okay. Based off of what you guys do. I guess I need to know like the names of all the PCs so I can get my relationships. Yeah, we should probably come up with our names. Yeah. Do we want to do? I was gonna say PC introductions till we're done, but you can you throw your names out there, and then I was gonna ask each of you to describe who you are, what your dreams are, what your relationship is, and all that good stuff. Um, but yeah, what are your names? Let me write this down. Who are you? Well, at one point, Adam had talked about calling the robot Ma, 
My actual name is CO34N3R, which is lead speak for cleaner. Okay, yeah, I like it. CL what? CL34N3R, which is cleaner. Yeah, cleaner and lead. I like it. Yeah. It's very cool. Okay, so we've got cleaner. Who else has a I'm name? I'm going to go with Sunny. Uh, Sunny? Oh, great mob boss name. Nice, yeah. Nice. Yeah. Sunny? Sunny. Sunny boy. <laughs> uh, I'm going to name myself Hiri. Who I I spell that? H I I R I. Hiri. Okay. And Adam and Jen. Piper Proudfoot. Oh, there we go. I'm watching the chat. I'm on it. Just you're, the one foot, though. You're not going to be... Oh, what's another name of a cat from cats? Uh, <laughs> Rumtum Tugger. We got Mr. Mistopheles. Uh, what are the other ones? <laughs> the, name, the name is so ridiculous. You can't, you can't take <laughs> yeah. it seriously. Just call me Did, Mufasa. You go on Piper Proudfoot. I will call you Fleabag. I do not care what your name is. for short, but that kind of sounds gross. Yes, I will call you Pee Pee because you are disgusting. Now your name's Pee Pee. Everyone's going to call you Pee Pee. Pee stop doing that all over the place. And Adam is Vincenzo. No, my name's Vincent, but you know, you could call me Vinny. Vinny. All right. All right, Vinny. Vinny, Sunny. Do you want me to put. Here, I'll put them in the. Chat so I just place. checked my I just checked my phone and I asked people and they all want it to be Tarkov instead of Hiri. So it's gonna be Tarkov. Who did you ask? I just did it on my on my my uh my Instagram real quick. Okay, Tarkon? Tarkov, like Tark Tarkovsky. Yeah, that's good. All right, all right. Man, Instagram vetoing. Tell them to get on. Uh, I know. I like Twitch Hiri right too. now. With that. It means it means mouse. <laughs> oh, that's that's cool. But. Democracy, it sickens me. <laughs> yeah, tell them, tell them to come watch you on Twitch. Yeah, tell them to get the get in here if they want their voices to be heard. Listen to us bossing them around. I know. Can't tell, tell your followers <laughs> to get in. Sounds here. like you're all bosses. <laughs> <laughs> I am a much better follower. Me too. Mike, you're Sunny S O N N Y or S U N N Y. Which one? Which one do you want to go with that? Uh, I, mean, I was normally I would go S O N N Y, yeah, but I can I, spell it S U N N Y. That's that's fine either. I was way. I was curious because yeah, normally it'd be sunny with an O, but we are on the the wasteland. I don't know have things been Let's lost the translation? S U N N Y. Yeah, okay, I'll do it that way. I'll change it quick. Really cool. They could be like uh, the state of University of like New York, like Ukla from Thundar. Oh, Ukla, are we getting Ukla into the Thunder? UCLA. Yeah. I am loving this group. We were talking before the show, and it's like the interests here are like all gelling. I just watched just... Thunder again recently with my son, my three year old, and the two of us it's just amazing. Like, so yeah. in. It's so good. And I'm, this, this is going to be a little sacrilege because I grew up like a hardcore He Man Master Universe fan. Like, I was obsessed with it. And you go back and watch it too. No, no, is Thunder's not way better. Up. Yeah, it's way so better. much better. Yeah, Thundar is fantastic, and you had a lot of Jack Kirby designs in there. Just saying. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. He, that's win-win. Uh, uh, that that that's that Hanna Barbera like that that uh, time period. It was all really good stuff. So yeah. So question. Um, yes. Do we have to like agree that people are buddies, or is it just who I think is my buddy? <laughs> You, I love that idea. Think? No, I think that's that's better. You know, it doesn't say that it has to be mutual. You've just okay. latched on to someone as your buddy. No, 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 that's great. I love it. Like you uh, could you could maybe hate Cleaner for all we know. Uh, but Cleaner like worships you, right? I think it's the other way around. Well, it, feels, <laughs> it feels very uncomfortable to make someone the person that I'm very interested in, but them not be interested in me. <laughs> Uh, I think uh, with what Jeremy and I were joking about um, was that, like, he somehow found his way to the Ark when we were all young, and I latched onto him, and uh, like he begrudgingly raised me. Mm. 
Observation. These creatures pick up sticks. Cleaning initiative observed. Comparison. Similar to monkeys, but approximately 73% less fecal matter thrown. Evaluation determines nurture. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, this is going to be amazing. Uh, <laughs> does anybody have all of their setup? Because I will put you on the spot and you can give us a rundown of who your character is, what their name is, what your profession is, uh, and your relationships to everybody. And you only have one buddy, right? You only have one buddy. Okay. This is hard. It is tough on the spot. Do you it's want, especially, you want it's especially when you aspect? don't know people as well, you know? Yeah, that's true. That's true. I'll do you be, want two weeks to think buddy. about it? I guess or, or we, and we could do it in the chat, in the Discord, and come up with this as well. We don't have to do it on the spot if we don't so want to. So who's the, the fifth wheel? <laughs> who's the fifth wheel's buddy? Yeah, who is the fifth wheel? It's the boss. Nobody really likes somebody's yeah. like muscle. <laughs> no one can... <laughs> I was going to say, the boss is probably yeah. my closest best friend because I'm a stalker, right? So I'm probably like <laughs> going out, going out, coming in, trying to get stuff. Oh, I know is... The robot won't be mine because he hates Fleabag. Yeah. <laughs> Plus, yeah, he's got you... best, he's best friends with everybody else. Yeah. Everybody I'll, be else your I'll be your buddy, Ken. We'll be buddies. Uh, all right. So I'm going to say that you're my buddy. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's sunny, right? Yeah. S U N N Y. Nice. I threw them in the chat as well for in uh, Roll20. Everybody's real name and their character name. And I'm going to say it's because you've always been good to me. You've always been a good a Oh, good you've always been good to my, my people, right? Oh, yeah. I, I, I take care of them. You right? treated me fairly, yeah. I'm a good... What, what do they call this? I'm a soldier. Yeah. Right. You, I mean, yeah. You're a stalker. Yeah. He well. does display destructive <laughs> tendencies, but then again, boys will be boys. <laughs> Oh, well, man. it's gonna be fantastic! <laughs> As if this is only once a month. Come on now, <laughs> this needs to be ongoing all the time. Fawn, shoot me that link over on on Discord. I said roll twenty. I meant Discord. Send me that link on Discord, and I'll throw it in the chat. Although it makes sense if I was like Adam's best friend too, because he's always messing with metal stuff. I'm trying to think of my mutation. Mm, I don't know. You could have gone out hunting with the cat. That's true. Well, maybe I need to protect Piper because she's small and furry. And I oh, love wait. cats. Yeah. <laughs> um, but. Oh, okay. No, that that. I hate. I need to protect. And my big dream is all. NPCs, yeah. Right. I hate. Yep. Oh, those are all NPCs. Your hate is NPC. Yeah. Your buddy is a PC. You also need to do your relationships to the PCs. Um, oh. You need to choose two relationships or relationships to two NPCs on top of this, and they could be. Mm. It could be love. It could be hate. It could be anything. Uh, you okay. can be jealous of them. I don't care. It's just some sort of relationship to an NPC in the arc, in the zone, whatever. Okay. And then your big dream. What What do you want? If you If you could save oh, off the mutations or your animal instincts taking over, or I don't know what it is with robots corroding. I don't know. What would that be? What would that look like? It is very simple. I intend to clean this entire country and make it great once more. It'll never happen. Clear. <laughs> you're 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 dreaming big, buddy. <laughs> dream big or go home. However, home has been destroyed. All that is left are broken dreams. Damn. Wow. <laughs> Who programmed you? <laughs> My programming was corrupted approximately thirty years ago. <laughs> is that? I am, however. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Go ahead, go ahead, sorry. Oh, I don't know. I'm rambling. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like you were born to be a rambling man. There you go. So, oh, so Lord, I, I was born to be a rambling man. Yes. I can just make up an NPC. Oh yeah, yeah. You you guys make them up right now. That's part ah. of the creation. So I'm like, like that's what Ken was asking. Also, like, am I gonna make them up? I'm gonna do a combination of whatever you guys create, and I'm also gonna come up with NPCs for the zone and the arc. We're gonna do both. I love it because you guys are doing some of the work for me. Mm. Remember, can I, can I create a love story with a slave? Yes, please. <laughs> Absolutely can. I'm I gonna do that. I encourage it. How she's not my. She's not my slave. She's a slave. I need to. That should be. That should be clear before I say anything. I need to. Well, as a boss, I probably employ a few slaves. You could yeah. be in love with one of them. So I've got, I've got those, those side eyes for one of these slaves. You know what? I posted a link there for Drive Through RPG. Disregard everybody, because I'm gonna send you the link via 
go hey click our affiliate link down below and, and search for uh mutant year zero if you're interested in this game picking it up buying it if you click that affiliate link below and purchase mutant year zero it'll help out the channel and we would greatly appreciate it we have already seen some folks buy through that link and i want to thank you i don't know who you are but thank you so much for using our affiliate link and purchasing your books using it so ignore th ignore that link I posted earlier to drive through RPG. I was trying to delete it. Use that affiliate link down below. There's a banner for drive through RPG. Tarkov, I have decided that my attraction to you feels uncomfortable, and I do not <laughs> understand it. Yes, <laughs> I'm really attractive. <laughs> I do not understand why, but yeah, I especially... always feel drawn to you. <laughs> especially to metal objects. That's really cool for a stalker, right? Going out into yeah, the wastelands. Yeah. And using your ability, your mutation, to be successful, right? Drawing things towards you and not have to, like, uncover things and, and dive deep down in. You can just, like, use it, your power it, and things will come to you. It opens up some interesting uh, just combat options, too. Not that I'm a combat player, but uh, if I have a metal scrap rifle and I can also use, mm. you know... Um, or if you shoot a grenade or just have a grenade and I can use my mind to, like, push it. Oh, my God. Now I'm I see. Inter I'm more interested in my love, my love, and my attraction <laughs> to the slave here. Now I see why Sunny has you employed. You're like, yeah, he really looks after you. I'm the. Did you guys because... ever watch um, uh, Boardwalk Empire? I, mm, I yes. watched the first season. That was it. Yeah, I watched it. Uh, what's his name? Harrow, Edward Harrow, or the guy with the, the screwed up face? Yeah. Yes, yeah. the dude with the mask, the sniper. Yeah. The guy was fucking awesome. Yeah. 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 That's you. Season season four has got a pretty awesome uh, blow up. I might have to go back and watch it. I've got uh, an extensive list of things I need to watch. Are there like under bosses to the bosses? Like, is there like a second? Like command? a capo? <laughs> yeah, like a capo. We could make it. Uh, why not? We can make. I'm gonna call. I'm gonna call it an under boss just for now. Okay. Let's let's do it. I don't think there's anything written in there that way, but why not? Sure. All right. Set it up. Make it our own thing. Capos, lieutenants. What do I hate <laughs> other than flea bag? <laughs> <laughs> What what's maybe is there something that makes the zone dirty? Is there something that's dirtying the zone at a rate that's oh. making it hard for you to clean it? I don't know. You really are just like a, a terrifying Wally. Yeah, yes. <laughs> right. If if Wally was like six feet tall and yeah. like just pure, and had a grenade iron. launcher. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Maybe there's like some sort of like refinery or some sort of like old plant or something that's just constantly leaking gunk or whatever. I don't know if there's anything of that yep. nature around. Make it up. And we will make it part of the lore. Maybe that's what's drawn drawn you drawn you to this zone. There is something that's spewing filth and rot in this zone. I don't know. That's that's up to you, and I'm more than happy to incorporate it into our ongoing game. Somebody's vacuuming again. Uh, I'm just going to call have... it... Go ahead, sorry. The ooze. Whatever, like... No, I won't call it the ooze. The, the secret, secret of the ooze? Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> because I need to understand what's causing it. The secret ninja, of this go ninja, ooze. Go. Okay, it's I've all got... your fault, Ken, because of the, uh, the Ninja Turtle. Yeah, right? Yeah, sorry. I'm not sorry. Ninja Turtles are awesome. They are awesome. Got my uh, relationships and who I hate, protect, and dream about. Um, what do I need to look on next? Or... Before, before you continue, I think, Jeremy, we're getting a lot of background noise on your end there. All right, let me. I'll, I'll... Okay. So I'm sorry, Adam, you had buddy, NPCs, relationship to PCs. Right. Uh, so I'm, I've got all that taken care of. Got big, my dream? big dream. Yep. Okay. Do you want to do you want to introduce everybody's in the chat and watching us to your character? Who is Vincent? I have to look at your name. Who is Vincent? Oh, uh, my name is Vincent, but uh, you can call me Vinny. You know, uh, once we get to know each other a little better. But uh, yeah, I'm a gearhead. You need some armor. You need some weapons. You know, 
need a tool for a job, I can make it for you. Just need some scrap. That's all. Uh, what else do we need to go over? Give um, me the rundown of your relationships. Uh, so yeah, I know I know Kleena, Sunny, Talkoff, and Piper Proudfoot. Uh, <laughs> my buddy is Kleena, and uh, I call her Ma. Well, actually, yeah, it's a her. But uh, yeah, I call her Ma because you know she, I I uh, since ever since I can remember. She was uh, taking care of me, and uh, you know, she fed me. So I hear that's what she's supposed to do. I read, you know, I read some of uh, there was uh, um, papers that are out there, and uh, it shows like a picture of uh, you know somebody laying food down on the table and be like, you know, like good moms, uh, you know, have dinner prepared or some weird stuff like that. I mean, what? Uh, I guess uh, Clean is a good mom. What do I know? I'm so proud. <laughs> uh, as far as Sonny, Tarkov, and Piper goes, they're all right. Um, but you know who I hate? I hate the boss, Talkter, who, uh, whose gang steals my scrap. Ain't nothing like the, bo the boss, Sonny. And uh, I need to protect the Enforcer Lenny, who guards the Ark and constantly needs new armor. And uh, one day, my big dream is to have a fully functioning moth cutter. It's oh. a car. Yeah, that's I figured. A car. All right. That's your big dream. Thank you. Thank you, Vinny. Vincent? I don't know hey, what you, you want me to call you. Vinny or Vincent? Or Vincenzo? Nah. No. <laughs> Vinny the Fence, as Fawn called you in the chat. I mean, uh, I can build you one. Is that what we're talking about? <laughs> yes. Yeah, that's it. All right. Yeah, four I... fingers. <laughs> four finger Vinny. Four finger Vinny. He's going to give him the clamps. <laughs> Thank you, Vinny. Does anybody else, who's, who else is ready to do a run down of their character? I suppose. All right, Kalina. Hello, my designation is CL34N3R. I am also called Cleaner, or Ma, by my darling boy. <laughs> I have come out into the waste to clean this great nation and make it great once more. It is a large task. I have had to ally myself with some that I love and some who disgust me. <laughs> I love Vinny. He is my darling boy. He listens and he fixes me. I fix him too. Sonny is my little rascal. He sometimes destroys things, but boys will be boys. Tarkov is skeevy. My attraction to him is strange. Piper is a disgusting flea bag. She sheds everywhere and makes my life miserable. However, my darling boy likes her and says I cannot crush her. <laughs> that is awesome. Oh, Fawn said you were rosy from the Jetsons. Oh. Oh, nice. <laughs> you should wear an apron, like a raggedy apron. I should, <laughs> yes. <laughs> that was awesome. Thank you. I hate a great many things. Right now, I largely hate the strange ooze coming from a factory that is somewhat north of us. I need to protect my darling boy. And I suppose the others too, because they keep him alive. Thank you. Very good. All right, who wants to go next? Uh, I'll go. I'll go. I'm still trying to figure out my relationship with Piper, but I think everything else I'm pretty locked. Piper's in the on. wild card. It's like, how, how do I feel about this? Game? Well, it's like it's like how do I feel about an amorphic like. Uh, like cat thing. I don't, even, I, I don't even know what Piper's powers are or her mutant powers are. Does she have mutant powers? Let me ask you that, Jim. Yeah. yeah. Or did uh, you go I full animal? Fast reflexes and predator. So no oh. mutant powers. She is 
<laughs> um, created in a lab. That's the backstory here is that you've been messed upon your genetics and all that, and you're kind of like made from a lab. You, the, the the animal people. So you I strangely you not... just rub against people for no reason. Yeah, <laughs> just right. an animal. You have not exhibited any mutations yet. So there you go. <laughs> I think that helps. That helps. Tarkov. Yeah. So I think I, I think I've got it then. Okay. Um, my name is Tarkov. I am the stalker, or a stalker. I like to think of myself as the stalker of our arc. Um, I'm anemic and wiry, and I'm wearing like a big, big poncho with like striped knockoff Adidas joggers. Um, <laughs> and I wear like those Arctic snow goggles that uh, like Bebop has in Ninja Turtles. Bring yes, yes. Ninja Turtles. Um, my buddy is Sonny the boss. He always treats me well. Um, he's the closest thing to a friend that I have in the arc, um, which is sad, but I think, I think that's how his worldview works. Um, Piper, uh, I respect her abilities because she's a hunter too. Um, so there's sort of like a, I, I'm positive to her, but I mostly just respect her. Uh, cleaner, I enjoy pushing its buttons literally and figuratively. <laughs> <laughs> so, so I'm thinking that I screw I screw with him. Um, and then Vinny, which I just realized is Vin, V-I-N, Vin number. Uh, oh. I get along really well with him. Uh, he's always handy and willing to trade. So I'd like to think that we're, we're probably friends. Um, I hate the underboss. Uh, either Mike's or another boss is underboss, uh, Bloth, because he bullies Asta. And I need to protect Asta the slave because she's uh, everything good in this horrible world. And then uh, my my dream, if I could see it on my uh, screen, <laughs> is uh, I want to find Eden and move there with, uh, with Asta the slave. Take her nice. away from all this. Road to Eden. So for the mutants, Eden is like, that's your end game. Yeah, you want to find Eden. So. Nobody really knows what Eden is, but you are all on a journey to find Eden. That <laughs> it's is my, it's my, my, perfect, my perfect world. Yeah. Awesome. I can hear uh, Daniel doing the rundown of the, the rules. They're not that complicated, he says back there. <laughs> <laughs> They're not that complicated. <laughs> the Dune rules aren't complicated? Yeah, right. <laughs> yes, they are. That doesn't sound right. <laughs> Cool. Thank you, Ken. That leaves us with Piper Proudfoot and Sunny. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so I picked Fast Reflexes and Predator. I'm a gray furred striped creature. Um, some of this I probably still need to fill out like conditions or something. Um, my PC relationship is with a Cleaner because I can't shed on him and or it or her. Um, I hate being accused of having fleas. I'm, I'm, I got my collar on. I'm flossing. Um, and I think I need to protect Cleaner because it's a rust bucket. <laughs> and my big dream is to find paradise, preferably full of fish. <laughs> <laughs> Preferably. Awesome. Thank you. Piper Proudfoot. Adam, I don't know if you saw in the chat there someone is asking Fawn is asking you again what the car you want is. Your dream. I know oh, you mentioned yeah. your character creation. It's a it's a play moth cutta. C U D A. Cutta. Plymouth C U D A. Cuda. Aha Barracuda. <laughs> Took me a moment. Barracuda. Barracuda. All right. Da, 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 and da, da, da. last but not least, we have the boss playing the boss. Yes. Uh, so I've been playing the boss, uh, Sonny. Um, he, let's see here. I took the talent uh, gunslingers. So my boys will have guns. They'll be packing heat. Dang. Uh, yep. Uh, and I did put in a max three there, so I will have three to 12, depending on how many uh, Matt lets me keep. Uh, and then, um, <laughs> <laughs> let's see, my best buddy is uh, Tarkov, you know, because he's a stalker. He's my eyes out in the field, um, you know, and then I got uh, Cleaner. I mean, he's useful because uh, if he can clear the rock, it means maybe he can make uh, the world a little bit better. Piper, uh, 
Piper's proof that there are others out there, whether allies or enemies. So uh, I, I'll probably be uh, asking her some information about like, what she knows, what's going on, um, because uh, uh, we'll get to my dream later. But uh, Vinny, uh, he's a gearhead. You know, he's a good guy. Uh, useful for building the machines that I use or plan to use to obtain my goals. So let's get to my big dream then. My big dream yeah. is to conquer the nearby zones, clear up the rot, and build an empire that lasts <laughs> oh. for years and years to come. Some Dude, sort that kind of boss, huh? empire. I'm a, I'm a I'm an empire builder, right? You know, whether it's a boardwalk, whether it's a concrete empire, you know, it's it's we're gonna we're gonna build something here. Um, but uh, the thing I I need to protect most is. Uh, my best buddy that's not an PC, which is uh, Marlon Rando. Uh, he's my right hand man. He's the first to you die. Know. If you kill him, I will literally quit this game. <laughs> <laughs> can I can I change the guy I hate to that guy? Yes, to Marlon Rando. Yes. <laughs> yes, I'm going to. That's yes, awesome. Marlon Rando. All right. Uh, he's been with me since the beginning, so like we're just super tight. And then we got. Uh, what was the last thing here? The thing I hate. Okay. Uh, the person I hate is Alcazar. He's an arrival boss. Uh, his goals are to basically keep everyone in the uh, in the arc. He doesn't want to go out anywhere. He wants to just stay here, which Sonny thinks is dumb, because if we all stay here, we're just going to die. But he's one of those pessimists, like he doesn't want to go out anywhere. And so, but he's got a lot of people that agree with him. So it's my, yeah, yeah. he's probably my first target, eventually, probably. Dan you know, Elkazar. You know what I think would be interesting? Yeah. Is if I changed my buddy to Piper, that way it would be like I'm trying to be buddies with Piper, who's trying to be buddies with uh, Cleaner, who's trying to be buddies with me. <laughs> it's like this weird circle. Yeah. Yeah. Do it. Weird buddy square. Or I'll tell you what, you guys. Before we play in two weeks' time, you guys can make some changes to it. It's Beauty of Roll 20. You can log in anytime. You can do stuff on your character sheets. I don't care. That's cool. Just let me know if you make a change because I'm going to start prepping in the meantime. Yeah. I will be. <laughs> okay. What was your. You did your big dream there, boss? Yeah. Awesome. Thank you so much. So that is a rundown of characters. The next thing you need to do, and we can, you can do this off stream, you can log back in, uh, is your gear. And your gear is outlined I with the profession that you chose. Your starting gear. So it'll be listed on that page. The other thing is, because we have a gearhead, you actually get to start with a random artifact, which is like the rare stuff that we're going out into the zone to try and find, aside from, you know, yeah. food and water. So roll me a D66, no, a D666, and determine what your starting artifact yeah. is, which is not, yeah, metal, which is not set up on this character sheet, which is one of the downsides of the character sheet that we're using. It doesn't have a D666. Okay, so do I just? Well, I can't do three d six. Uh, well, I mean, uh, just you roll. could roll. You could roll two d six and then just count the numbers as. Or roll two d six or three d six separately, like a six, yeah. a six, and a six, and that'll give us our six six six. Ah, uh, okay, yeah, I'll do exactly. It. Yeah. All right, hang on. That's how it works at the table when you're playing this. Nobody has a d six 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 that they're rolling at the table. I do. Well, I can't. No, I, I, uh, I, that's I, fair. All right. I got it from my friend Satan. Oh! <laughs> what huh. is going on here? You guys, what are you? Uh, so, roll 20. I forgot. I have new people in roll 20. I apologize, Adam. So, on the left hand side, you're going to see like there's a box floating there. Uh, and there's going to be like an arrow. There's going to be mm -hmm. a die and a, and, a, and a question mark. Click on the, the icon that is a die. And that's going to bring up a dice roller for you. And then you're going to see mm. like a D4, a D6, a D8, a D10. You can do custom dice. So go ahead and just hit. Swyhander cheered 500 bits. Woo! Thank you, Daniel. <laughs> um, go ahead and roll the D6 or times. There we go. So we got 216. Mm. Oh, my God. You have a chainsaw. Um, what? You I have do? a chainsaw. You have a chainsaw. So the way artifacts work are though yeah i know right they're almost like you need to put that on me <laughs> <laughs> i must <laughs> i mean so, chainsaws are made of metal that's all i'm saying 
And he rolled a <laughs> six, 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 six to, to get that. So this rattling monster of a contraption can be wielded as a melee weapon to horrible effect. But starting the engine takes a full turn and requires a dose of gasoline or booze. So the way artifacts work are you have to put resources or time towards developing them. Uh, I mean, we do that at the beginning of each session. You decide what you want to develop within your arc. So you're going to have to develop this before you can use it. You don't get it to use okay. it like right off the bat. But this is something sure. then you can start developing right off the bat in the game, right at the beginning. You guys start working towards having a chainsaw. But so you you have it. You just don't know how to use it yet. You gotta you gotta put resources towards understanding this strange technology. Hello, cat. Oh. <laughs> I found I went and googled a list of um the names of all the cats from cats. So I will be using oh, them when we good. play. Yeah. That is a thing. That's what we needed. That's that's good. I've got it. I would be like, who's that? So who's that? Where, where do you put your artifacts on the character? Sheet? That is a great question. Um, uh, I think it's gear. Is it gear? Is it arc? Yeah, put it under your gear. Where is gear? Swyander with more cheers, Daniel. You're, you're... Uh, right. Oh, there it is. Armor. Right in front of me. Yes. <laughs> Let's reset my sound here. I missed anything that was said in the last ten seconds, fifteen seconds. But we're being Found spoiled it. by Daniel with the with the cheers. Thank you. Yeah. Um. Okay. So next thing we have to do is our arc. So you guys, we have we have a map here in front of us on roll twenty. Everybody can see. You can see coordinates along the left hand side and across the top. It's almost like battleship, right? So you choose like B five. You sunk my battleship. So choose somewhere on this map where you want your arc to be. That is going to be the location of our arc. So as a group, determine where you want to be. <laughs> so we got roads and we have water on here. I don't. I didn't see Snoopy. Uh, I guess it's been erased. I erased him. I'll, I'll oh. draw him real quick just so we can know where he is. Okay. Sorry it's to the important. people on the stream. You can't see Snoopy right now. I uh, will be... So putting the map out there so the people watching as we develop the map and as we find things and i'm placing it on there for the players i'm i also want to put the map out there for everybody else to see so you guys can kind of follow along as they venture out into the zone and start discovering things i think it'd be kind of cool to have an interactive little map oh look, yes that body of water does look like snoopy so that's water. <laughs> that's clearly where we should be and all the lines are roads uh, so yeah, it should be like g5 uh... then <laughs> right right in the middle g5 right there like so we're next to a road we're next to water to my for my new players if you hold down the left mouse button it does that pink Boom. in your color like, hey, you can change your color to ping it you can change your color that's that little square box next to your name you click it and you get more more colors do you guys want g5 um, Is, i'm okay I mean, with it yeah, you why not, a, right? You have yeah. a road, you have some water. G5 is the the location of your arc. Okay, the next thing we need to do is we need or, to determine... Or we or. could do um, actually this one, because that would be even more surrounded by water and, like, defensible. H7. I, I'm good with either one. H7 sounds good. I mean, it's basically the same place. Yeah, We're Snoop, Snoopy's throat or Snoopy's H7 head? H7 sounds good. Yeah. H7, okay. Snoopy's bow tie. Snoopy's bow tie. That's right. <laughs> okay, so now we need to determine what is our arc. So they have examples of the book here. An airplane wreck, a bridge, a farm, a mall, an oil rig, a prison, a scrap village, a shelter, a shipwreck, a skyscraper, a small island. You guys do have some water there. A subway station, a trailer park. What? What is your arc? What, where where are you guys living? Hmm. Well, there's a crash plane that we could use. Oh, oh. Um. Now here in Missouri and Kansas, uh, oh. a lot of our casinos have to be on water. Oh, that's wicked cool. Yes, I, I love the idea of a casino. Love it. Oh, that is hundred and ten percent casino. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Of course, the boss wants the casino. 
Oh, that is cool. So I'm it's going to be it's like a riverfront a... casino. Yeah, that, we're going to make this work. Yeah, that's that's amazing. That's Seven. good. So it's, it's like a real, uh, it's a real boardwalk empire. empire. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> right. <laughs> ding ding! You're aware. All right. Yeah, Snoopy's the bottom of Snoopy's jowl here is going to be our our floating casino on water. That is cool. So it's fortified in a sense. That is cool. Okay. And very clean. Unless you yeah. throw water monsters at us, water panthers. <laughs> Don't give me well, ideas. See my cousins have this. <laughs> I mean, in Missouri, yeah. they're very loosely on the water. Wink, wink. Yeah. You know? So. <laughs> Like they don't, they're not actual river boats anymore. No. This is very Thundar the Barbarian. This is good. Yeah. Or like uh, Desol Desolation Alley. The next thing they recommend is that someone draw a map of the Ark that we can share as players and we can build on as you guys start to develop and build your Ark more. So Ten. I will leave that to the group of you <laughs> to decide who wants that. I know we have an artist here, but I was saying earlier in the Ten. week that I know... <laughs> That is your job, and I know when I'm not doing my job, I don't want to do it. One of my time when it's my time off, no, so we're not it's, gonna ask you to do it. Like, uh, I would if you gave me that, and I had work, I'd usually draw the draw the boat. It's, um, it's a natural. I mean, it's like a horrible procrastination <laughs> uh, habit. I'll, I'll I'll draw it. You obviously. don't have to. You don't have to. Just like I said, that, uh, that's your, that's your, I, I'd that's be your a job. real dick not to. You get paid to draw, and we're just like, hey, Ken, you want to draw some things for free? <laughs> I, right? I draw stuff for my RPGs all the time. All the time. Okay. So right. I'll, I'll draw it. Is it like a riverboat, or is it like a casino casino? Riverboat. What do you guys want? It's This is a great decision. Wheel I want a casino everything. casino, all right? I want penthouse level. Are you kidding <laughs> she doesn't know. She has no idea. No, you can have just like the captain's cabin. Just do a maverick well, boat. Yeah, I mean. Oh, nice. Yeah. Depends Adam, on how you big see the that lake the chat? is. Really, Fawn went and looked mm -hmm. up the uh, the VIN number for the seventy three Barracuda and threw it in the chat for you. Oh, nice. <laughs> This is the great thing about our chat on our streams. Like, they'll go do research. Like, when I went to Cthulhu on Sunday nights, they go do, like, historical research for us and come back and, like, give us, like, the wiki. Where are you so guys can, with like... the Rumpel Teaser yeah. names? Yeah, where was the cat's names? It's Rumpel yeah. Tugger. That's what we needed. That's the <laughs> info that we needed. <laughs> Asparagus I'll, was one of them. We did. I'll we draw on. anything, as but you guys you guys have to fight over what it is. Okay, so you guys tell that. Ken. It's a full-blown also... casino, all right? <laughs> Mike is very opinionated on this. Can there can there be can there be like a walkway to a river boat? Would that make everyone happy? Sure. Yeah. So what what would be awesome is if um, this casino was a okay. river boat, and then they um, turned it into a building, and they just attached yeah, the river boat to it. Yeah, right. So you have the river boat yeah. casino oh, yeah, yeah. attached to the hotel. Uh, so so I'm making a, a trailer park. You're making me draw a trailer park. <laughs> <laughs> <Unfortunately, laughs> Uh, okay. I'll just be in the parking lot in my trailer. Don't mind me. <laughs> my double wide. <laughs> With all the scratching posts. Yeah. It's just all old cat trees. <laughs> <laughs> you have chosen a terrible place to live. This is disgusting. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of cleaning going on. With my one flamingo out front. That way I can practice cats. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, that's got to go in there. You have to have a flamingo, Ken. There's a little cowboy hat on it. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so we have our arc. The next thing we have to do is we have to choose an elder who runs, oh. who is the overseer of our arc. Who who writes down the arc stuff? Do we just put it in our our? Uh, Why don't we throw it in the sheets? Discord? Look, yeah, we can. Yeah, it's it's actually in all of your sheets. You have an arc page. Um, that is the second tab at the top. There. It says character sheet. Next, to that is arc sheet. Mm. So you guys can all put the descriptions in there. What's that coordinate, real quick? It's, uh, it is G seven, H seven. I'm sorry, you sunk H7. my battleship. <clears throat> so it's yeah, it's like right there at the bottom of his jowl or whatever, hanging down. You know, I'm gonna call this like Snoopy's Snoopy's bow tie or something. Oh yeah, I hope so. Would we? No, we won't get in trouble for that. It's satire. No, it's yeah. We're fine. We're fine uh so we need it we need an arc elder so it says determine where in the arc the elder lives 
They are rarely seen in person these days, but their den is still a hub of activity in the Ark and is where the Chroniclers of the Dawn Vault, which is some important NPCs, um, often could be found. So the when vault. Ken... When Ken determines uh, or makes the map, he needs to determine where this. He needs to mark on there where the elder lives. With well, him. you guys, you guys can figure it out, or I'll do it. It's the penthouse. Is the basement? Is it the casino floor? Like, what is it? It's the, it's the vault. vault. The vault. Oh, there yes. it is. Yes. <laughs> we'll put him. We'll put him in the vault. Yeah. <laughs> what do yes. we want to name our elder? Mm. Is it a he or she? Let's make it a lady. Let's okay. make it a. Yes. a a strong, capable woman. Mm-hmm. I can agree with this. I like it. Yep. She's a brick house. <laughs> exactly. She's the prettiest. She, yes. That's how, that's how she prettiest. got. That's how she got her job. <laughs> Come on, guys. That's not right. Yeah. No. No. Uh, <laughs> no. I'm like, she's a big, strong woman, and everyone's like, yeah, because she's so pretty. She's so no. I think she's one person. Was. <laughs> no, so that's a reference to I think Borderlands. Oh. oh yeah! Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Yep. My siren is the prettiest. Yep. So <laughs> we should. It would be any... fun to call her the siren. We. Do you want to call her the siren? Let's call her the jackpot. Siren. I like the siren. No. I like it. I like it. I don't hate it. You're classy, <laughs> Ken. Siren. I do like my siren. I'm just. Me, so I'm, I'm just. Ag- I'm just this. agreeable. That's what you like. Let me ask you this. Is the yeah. siren is is she a mutant? Is she a beast person? Is she a robot? What is she? Is she a human? Uh, how about she's a human? With the siren, she's got some sort of some sort of singing. Oh, okay, that works too. Oh, she could right. be half mermaid. We don't know. Yeah, is there is there a mutant power that would that would tie to a siren? Because that's cool can, to tie. To I a can power. put it half underwater, so there's like in the vault. It's sort of like in the water a little bit. <laughs> Have you guys seen like the gold? Like the child? hotel sliding into mm-hmm. the water. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And she's uh, in that she... she's in that dipping water part. You know? Yeah, if there's no mutant, she could be a um uh, an animal uh, reptile. Oh, there you go. Mm. Salamander kind of creature. Who knows? Mm-hmm. Maybe she's got a beautiful singing voice. Yeah. Don't make oh, her a all... fish though. I'll have issues. <laughs> Would her den be called Sirens Escape? That sounds awesome. <laughs> I'm behind that 100%. Sirens escape. Okay. So she is a beast person? She is she's some sort of lizard, just salamander or something? Is that what we want to go with? I'm all right with that. Mm-hmm. Okay. Cool. Sounds cool. I like that. She lives within the vault. Half in the water, half out. That is so cool. I like the collaborative stuff. This is fun to me. Okay, so we have that. So now we got to determine the other bosses. So Mike is one of the bosses within the casino in the arc. I rolled randomly. We're going to have three other bosses. Uh-oh. So there's a list of nine different like boss types in here. So I'm going to roll a D9 three, three times. And this is going to determine the other types of bosses we have. So five, we have a kingpin. Oh, I think it's kind of like you, Mike. You're a rival. Um, I'm a rival. <laughs> treats most of his underlings as little more than slaves, as uh, his own private workforce. Often undertakes big and megalomaniac uh, projects, and does not hesitate to use violence to get them done. So this is one of our one of our th- three other bosses, or four bosses in total within the within the uh, the arc. So we have a kingpin. Don't let that stand. Uh, is this your rival, Mike, or rival boss, uh, rival kingpin? All right. I don't know. That's up to you. If you want him to be a rival, he doesn't have to be. He uh, or she, whatever we want to do with that. Well, sometimes there are friendly rivalships, right? Mm-hmm. We also have a collector is obsessed with artifacts from the old age and is constantly trying to expand their collection. Will awesome. never turn anything over to the Dawn Vault. Awesome. Uh, lives in their own world and rarely leaves their lair. All right, so we have a collector. That sounds like more like the Alcazar guy that I was gonna. So is that? Like. Should I mark that as Alcazar? Yeah, you can mark that guy as Alcazar. Okay, so the collector is Alcazar. That is now canon. 
And lastly, our last boss. Oh, we rolled a five already, so let's redo that. Oh my god. Six. Mm -hmm. Kingpin. We have a bureaucrat. A low-key leader who rules by referring to the rules and commandments of the elder. Oh, we got a we got a golden boy here. Thinks that the people should do as they always have. Alright, alright. A bureaucrat. He speaks the truth. Did this someone is... else have someone that they hated that was a boss? Uh, I had made one, but I thought it would be more interesting if the uh, the guy hated worked uh, under okay. Mike. So there's a little bit more friction. Oh, okay. Which yeah. boss? You, you hate Marlon Rando. Yeah. Oh, yes. You I mean, hate Marlon Rando. You hate his guy. So I was going to say, which boss do they work for? Yeah, they work for Mike. <laughs> but I could also, I could, I mean, it would be just as uh, oh, interesting yeah. for a story if it was a, a rival boss's like underling or rival. Um, I, I hate the boss Toctor who steals my gang oh, yeah, scrap. Right. Uh, whose gang steals my scrap. So hmm. could that maybe be our kingpin? Or the collector. Or the collector. The kingpin is, you know, building projects, using violence to get it done. I could see him stealing scrap. Yeah, that works. You say, uh, I had. I had in my mind that uh, Toctor being a female. Sure, that's fine. Sure. So to how do I spell Toctor? T-O-C-H-T-E-R. Can she have an eye patch? Yeah. Yes. Make a, make a, uh, adding that to the ass. notes. How'd she lose that eye? Alcazar is a he? Yes. All right, and then so, we have a bureaucrat. How about I... I'll come up with the bureaucrat. Does that sound good? Yeah, you guys fine. created two of the three... Um, NPCs. I think we can all vote yes on that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. <laughs> cool. Okay, it says to discuss NPCs. So you guys had a whole bunch of NPCs during character creation. You, you're supposed to ask to flesh it out a little bit more. I think you guys did a good job of that. We don't need to do that step. And I'll also pepper the arc with other NPCs. Uh, we need to decide on a population for our arc. So they say on the high side, 200. Mm -hmm. So where do we want to go? 200 and less. What do we want our population of One our arc to be? million people. <laughs> <laughs> well, can, you like ever, can you ever increase that population? You can. And it also says that at the end of every game session, inhabitants will die from hunger, starvation, nice. um not so having access to water then. from violence <laughs> there so it's it's going to be ebb and flow it's going to go up and down all the time i think it would be interesting if we were if we had a little bit on the lesser side like it's dying out and that's why we're forced to like leave the arc yeah i mean i'm not saying like 20 or nothing a little higher than that but <laughs> <laughs> well then yep. i was 150 or 100 because remember, well, Mike alone has like 20 underlings. <laughs> That's oh, true. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, how many people die? Because I, I think I was, was it like 1d6, 2d6, 3d6? Like, Let me jump to that page right now and I'll tell you. I'm on board. Like I'm rapidly a, descending into like. Yeah, let's make it like one, 150. Over. There's a paragraph called sex, Session Body Count. Uh, you roll 1d6. The result tells you how many inhabitants of the Ark have died. In the meantime, beyond any PCs or NPCs who might have lost their life on screen during okay. play. So one to six. Every session, you're going to be losing. Yeah, so, so I would say minimum 100, although I like max numbers. So Jen, Jen says oh, Jen. 173, and she also says 18. Oh, you're rolling. What? 173 is perfect. That, yeah, that's that. That. that sounds yeah. great. Way yeah. better than 18. Okay, 173 <laughs> is the current population It's all of, of Mike's gang. Fire. Yeah, we yeah. don't have anybody. Yeah, it's, it's only literally just us. We all died. <laughs> yeah. Let me ask you guys this. So we have um, Pepper Proudfoot is a beast person. We have Siren is a beast person. And we have Cleaner is a robot. How many other humans, robots, and beast people do we want to see? Do you want to see more? Like, uh, and I'm setting it up, or are you kind of like... A refuge, a sanctuary. Did Siren set this place up to be like kind of a place for beast people, or are they kind of like shunned and they've ended up there, but nobody really trusts them? How, what's what's the general feel towards these others? I love the idea of an island of broken toys. We are the lost Mis and unwanted <laughs> misfit toys, if you will. Yes, I think it'd be really interesting, like if uh, for some reason 
this uh, elder took in a whole bunch of mutants. Like, uh, not saying they all were, but like, if that was the majority, like, mm. why, you know, why t take in these people that, you know, can't reproduce, you know, that sort of thing. So, so it's like a. Group... Go ahead. I was gonna say it's like uh, Barter Town from Mad Max, where it's just like a hodgepodge of people. Yeah, I was just thinking it was interesting that even though our group is majoritarily mutant, we're actually the minority. Oh, okay. Yeah. So that's interesting. But I mean, I also, you know, don't mind being the majority. So. I mean, I'm going to end up being the majority because I'm the boss, right? So, uh, <laughs> you want to know who your subjects will be. What? Right. What yeah. hell? Let's ask. Hey, we've got we've got ten people here. Viewers in the chat. What yeah, we, throw it up. you. What do you guys think? What do, what should we? What should the makeup of this arc be? Let's include them in in this. That's part right. Of it. Yeah, um, throw it up. That's the beauty of Twitch. We've got people here. Let's make them a part of this character creation or this arc creation. Mostly mutants, animals, robots, a mix. Um, what what should we do all, here? All flamingos. All flamingos all, with cowboy hats. <laughs> Mm -hmm. All the time. I actually would like, love if they were like, like some flamingo beast people. Yeah. It's a 30 second delay on Twitch, so you ask a question, then you gotta wait. Meow mix, personally. <laughs> Says yeah, Jen. I like the mix! Yeah, meow mix, okay. <laughs> <laughs> There's the door. <laughs> Kicking out everyone that makes puns, then I should just quit now. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I mean, I mean so clearly, clearly our water source is at that lake, though, right? So that's something else we have to choose. That's like the next mm. thing is the water source. Um, you have to your arc is going to have a clean water source, and you guys have to determine what it is. So is it the lake, or is the lake dirty? Is it is it uh, is it festering? Is it poisoned? Good, is there point. a well nearby? An artesian well? Is there? Another water source. We need to determine where you guys get that from. Is there a, an old broken water pipe that's spewing clean water? Hmm. Uh, what if we do draw it from the lake, but there is something that cleans it? Like a filtration, like sand system? Mm -hmm. That way it could fail. You know, like uh, uh, the water chip has broken. Well, I mean, uh, so Matt, do you know if, because you know what this area is, is there like a membrane filtration sewage system or something like that around this area? I'm going to have to go back. So that's the, the interesting thing is I need, now need to go back to the, like, the real map and find out what you guys selected and what's around there because I want to <laughs> populate it. So I don't know um, off the top of my head what, what is in that square that you chose. But I'll well, make don't... it easy to pinpoint seeing as he did the bottom of Snoopy's mouth. <laughs> His bow tie. It's bow tie. Uh, That's right. Don't lakes have uh, oh, right their tri their tributaries from mountains, aren't they? So there's usually like a collection point from uh, a mountain or something. There like are that. no mountains near here. Okay. Uh, I will tell you that about this region. But yeah, they uh, usually originate like at a mountain. Yeah. Flow out or up. Tainted lake. Fawn says tainted lake. Jeff says uh, tainted lake. Jeff also said a uh, mess filled with messed up mutants in the. There'll be messed up mutants in there, don't worry. Um, oh, messed up mutants. Let me put that down. I just Maybe. realized who I should hate. Who? <laughs> there should be a there should be a companion bot since it's a casino. <laughs> like a sex, like a sex bot. Oh, yeah. Designation 931 SH4, which is leap for Geisha. Yep. And because she would be considered higher than me in the hierarchy, she can tell me what to do. And I hate that can you so say, much. Can you say that she visits Mike occasionally? And that's why you also hate her? <laughs> I hate Maybe her Maybe she so tells much. you to go, yourself. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that is so good. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I like that. I also like Jeff had an idea in the chat of messed up mutants. So what if, what if there's also a area of the casino that is used for like those mutants who are like on the brink like they have almost succumbed fully to mutation and maybe you guys house or you have an area there where you care and tend for them but it's it's inevitable they're they're eventually going to give into the mutations they're going to become like abominations that are going to roam the zone you mean like a like a trauma ward yeah 
That was one of the ideas from from uh, from the chat. Messed up mutants. For me, mu messed up mutants mean like you've lost almost all your attributes have gone down to one, and you're like on the verge of just turning full mutant. Yeah, that's cool. I like that idea. So, well, I'm gonna add that to this casino. That's a that's a cool little room. Um, okay, cool. And we've got like sand, charcoal. We got filtration systems. That works. What do you guys think? What do you what do you what do you like for a water source and filtration? Um, yeah, I don't, like, it could be some just weird unexplained tech, that, that it's tech and it's like, we just constantly jury-rig it. Yeah, that's some, yeah, same. Like some sort of, like, like they're saying filtration system, but we don't know that. We just know it's clean water. Like, mm -hmm. yeah, that works. Oh, that's good. That's good <laughs> questing material right there. Thank you. Yeah. Our, our water filtration system's broken. Yeah, that's going to break all the time. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> right. I blame Alcazar. Yeah, Alcazar. That sucks. <laughs> it's it's uh, from Christmas Vacation, where he's like, "Shitter's full." Yeah. <laughs> yeah right. Oh no, Uncle or uh, cousin Eddie. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so we need to determine our season. What season were we play starting in? Summer, spring. winter, spring, fall. Uh, if it's a, if it's a you know a grim and perilous game, Mike's gonna hate it. But it starts in fall. Uh, there's more rain in spring. I'm just saying. So it describes <laughs> searing heat in summer, roll, rain roll storms in fall, yeah, icy yeah, D4. winter snow, and slow thaw in spring. Roll a d4. D4. Oh, d4. Okay. I can agree with that. So we are doing icy winter. Okay. <laughs> Damn. Hey, <laughs> I think I brought my fur coat. Hey, Mikey, oh. you have a very long time till you have to deal with fall. Yeah, that's no, true. <laughs> okay, and the last thing is you guys have to buy development levels in your arc. You have 12 points to spend on four charts. Food supply, culture, technology, and warfare. I don't know if you guys have access to it right now. I don't know if you have the books in front of you. So we could do this offline. We could do this on Discord. Mm. And you guys can determine because we don't need to do it live. Uh, we can you can determine how you want to spend those twelve points in those four categories: food supply, Clearly, culture, technology, culture. and warfare. I mean, twelve points really, unless we like dump it all into one stat, won't really get us into it. A, doesn't it? Doesn't mean fire. much. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah, it goes from like zero to nine, yeah. ten to nineteen, twenty to twenty-nine, and thirty plus. So you're gonna start base in everything for the most part. So is there anything that we just want to like start off with? Well, then if we just kind of dump it all into one, um, go go three one one, um, or like nine one one, or no, we'd have to go ten uh, and do zero and something else. Um, so well, they all have, have no, they all have benefits there. depending on what you select. I don't know if you guys have the book right. there in front of you on those pages. So I would think that like if we're here, take. And we've got like a trauma ward, kind of. Yeah. Probably have some way to feed all these people, mm. or that could be a real big challenge. But uh, I don't know. I always like. I like food, so. Yeah, I like, like food, food and supply. culture. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So how do you guys want to distribute those points? You want to just split it even between food and culture? Yes. <laughs> I too understand the power of agreeability. So six, six, and six. Sure. Yeah. And then zero in tech and zero in warfare. Okay. Let's go ten in food, two in culture, and we get to that next level of food. I'm I'm good with that. That's fine. I'm okay with that too. So ten. You guys can't see the chat. They're they're, they're talking in character right now and roll twenty to each other. Um, the chat will be up next time we play. You'll because we'll have the rolls up there for you guys to see them. Uh, so ten means starvation still isn't far away, but the people have enough grub to cover their day to day needs as long as the harvest or the hunt isn't threatened. Typically, you can get two rations of grub in return for one bullet. Decrease the session body count oh by one. Oh look at you guys. The the death is going to be slower in the uh, in the arc. Come hey. up. Did you guys come up with a name for the arc? You didn't. 
Uh, mm-hmm. Yeah, it's Siren's Escape for the Siren's uh, thing. So that's something else. We can take offline in the Discord. We can discuss. We should have a name for our arc, I think. Uh, maybe the name of the casino. Maybe something Siren's else. Siren's Cove. Siren's Cove. I'll take it. That's, yeah, I mean, Snoopy's bow tie easily is number one. <laughs> I think that's true. <laughs> so you're doing it on the tip of his bow tie there? Okay. I mean, I don't know. in his mouth. I don't know. Hotel yeah. California. <laughs> Snoopy's jowl? I don't know. Either or, just let me know which which where we'll, you want to put it. We'll in figure despair. it out. Yeah, yeah. We'll um, take on and it. again, we can do that offline. We can take it offline. You guys can jump into roll twenty at any time and do that. But that takes us to the end of what we're going to do tonight. Um, we did our character creation. We did our art creation. We're going to be back in two weeks, which is sub- Saturday, September twenty first. Same time, I think. We played a little bit early because of Adam's start time with work. So yeah, and half I, hour I, later. I will be much more attentive next time and actually facing the camera the whole time because, uh, yeah, I'm trying to get stuff ready for this. So. All good. All good. Uh, so, yeah, that brings us to the end of this. We will learn as we play. Um, there's rules. So, like, when things come up, like when combat happens, hey, we'll go through the rules then. When a mutation fault pull comes up, we'll go through the rules then. If you want to push a roll, we'll go through the rules then. We can learn it as we go. There's no need to run down all those rules here and throw them at you and push them on you. I also put some links to some resources in our Discord, which I'll also take and upload in here so that you have them for game sessions, which are like handy tables for how things work. And uh, yeah, do you guys, do, do the five of you have any questions after tonight? No. no. <laughs> any requests? How long before we kill the flea bag? <laughs> <laughs> That's up to you. <laughs> Do no oil it? for you, sir. <laughs> yeah. okay. Or ma'am. Or we don't do anything like pick projects or anything like that. We do that at the beginning of each session. We choose a okay. project. Um, cool. So yeah, that'll be like the meeting. first thing that we yeah. cover. You guys just determine what you want to sink like time into and resources. Let's get so, those slots up and running. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Got to bring in revenue. Got to make money. That's right. The money all the mutants from the across real the zone. Money Health is not important. We got to make that money. <laughs> we got enough about, food, right? All about the Benjamins. Yep. Cool. So thank you to everybody who joined us then tonight. We really appreciate it. I know this isn't as exciting as playing a game, but we went to character creation, and we appreciate having you guys here. And hopefully yeah. you will all be back in two weeks and join us again when we actually launch into the wastelands and the zone and we start playing this game. I am super excited. We have a very cool group that has already started to gel and none of us have played games together before well uh, man, that's a lie most of you have ken and i, I was gonna say it's really, it's really yeah. just me and matt yeah yeah, yeah <laughs> that's true uh actually we played a game with matt earlier in the week you did you? Heads. oh yeah. we played on ps4 we it's okay we already games. love you yeah, no, yeah nothing's playing. nothing's worse than being the lonely stalker yeah it's just ken uh <laughs> staring yeah, up played. at your window hey there but we go. It, to be hey you're my buddy that's true. Yeah. I'm your buddy. We're um, um we're gonna we'll, we'll pal, do a remnant post post mutant year zero party after this. <laughs> yeah. Just throwing it out there. <laughs> but uh yeah. No, thank you so much everybody, and we'll be back in two weeks' time. And I am really, really, really excited to be uh to be doing this with this yeah, group of people. Super excited. Me, me too. This sounds fun. It's, it's kind fun. of fun. It's so yeah, much fun. Looking forward to it. And thanks for tuning in, folks. Yeah. And Daniel, thank, thank you. you for all of them bits. And also, yeah. Fawn yeah. also cheered. I can't, I can't just give all the credit to Daniel. Fawn, thank you for the That's cheers. Fawn was really, and, really. And talkative. Chuck, me, my BFF. Hey, if Adam's here, then Chuck's somewhere nearby. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's a guarantee. <laughs> thank you, everybody. We will see you on the twenty first uh, tomorrow night. I am running Masks and Allo Thotep, uh, Pulp Cthulhu. We are probably going to wrap up New York. Which means we'll be going somewhere else in the world after that. So tune in to see what happens. How many go insane and how many die for the conclusion in New York. Great game. Yes, very good. All right, everybody. Thanks so much. Have a good night. We will see you tomorrow. Bye. Bye.